First to face the dragons this evening are a father and son combo. Peter... We've got to get this, we've got to get this. ..and Chris Maxted, together with their two- and four-legged assistants, Courtney and Hudson. Have a good one, Hudson. That's us. Good luck, guys. We are going to present the dragons with a really, really unique product. Right, well, gates. For Chris, walking into the den will be a surreal experience. I've been watching Dragon's Den ever since I was a little boy and never before did I think we would be standing here about to pitch to five of the most influential business people in the country. <laughs> but I'm ready for it and it's excited. Hello, Dragons. My name is Peter. And my name is Chris. We are here today to seek a £50,000 investment for a 10% equity share in our business, Doggate. The Doggate company designs and sells unique concertina dog safety gates, designed to fit multiple configurations, ranging from the front door, but to stairways, hallways and more. Doggate can be used as a training aid to improve a dog's behaviour at the front door, eliminating any risk of a dog escape when the front door is opened. When the gate's not in use, its unique design allows it to be concertina flat to one side, and the gate's modular capability enables it to be extended to any width. This year, we entered into the world of TikTok and three videos that we have posted gained 27.7 million views, which staggered me in particular. We would like to use your investment to reduce our manufacturing costs. We need to improve our margins and we want to explore the opportunity of working with retailers and wholesalers. We're going to give you a brief demonstration on how dog gates work. So I am just going to knock on number 10 and see if anybody's in. So you can see that at that point, the gate concertinas forming the barrier to allow Courtney to say hello to me. Hello, Courtney. And Hudson cannot escape. If Courtney wants to come out and join us, we have a quick release mechanism there which will allow her to come out and say hello. And that is our lovely dog, Hudson. That's our demonstration and we welcome any questions. Thank you. Here, with their solution to dogs that go AWOL when the front door is opened, are Peter Maxted and his son, Chris. Hudson could not be less interested in dragons. Are you hunting for food? They're asking for £50,000 in return for 10% of the business. Thanks, Thanks Courtney. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Courtney. Thank you. Despite being the only dragon not to own a four-legged friend, Sarah Davies takes the lead with the questions. So, tell me, where did the idea come from then? What, what sparked all okay. of this? OK. Um, we have run a pet sitting business, and as part of that business, we had people's dogs come in to stay at our house. Mm -hmm. A dog escape is a terrifying thing. If it's my dog, it's bad. If it's your dog, it's... Beyond yeah, the world. bad. So I looked around and there wasn't anything that did what I wanted it to do. So I came up with this dog gate. And, and how much does it cost you to make one of these? Uh, the front door version is £28 landed. And then um, the stair gate version is £46. Pound. And what do you sell them to for? So the, the stair gate version is £89.95 and then the front door version is £59.95. So yeah, yeah, you say you haven't got a great deal of margin. The margin is not, not the best. So at the moment, where are you selling this? Through TikTok, through our website and through Amazon as well. So your business is only direct to consumer? Yes. So that is at 59, cost you 28? Yes. And what does it cost you to acquire a customer? Uh, at the moment, it's about £11.90. So £12. Your £28 plus your £12 is 40. Knock off your 20% VAT on 59, which is around 11. So, for, so you're making about £8 a unit. Absolutely, yeah. So, at the moment, you could not sell this in retail because there's no margin. No, absolutely. You're right. That's why we're here today, to seek your expertise. What, you want to, to magic wand to make you profitable? No, no, <laughs> but... Um, we, we know that with investment, we can bring down the cost of this gate. You need to buy this product between 12 and £14 pounds mm, absolutely. to be profitable. Mm. Yeah. We believe that's achievable. We do believe that's achievable. 
Meager margins make dragons nervous, but Peter and Chris think a cash injection could give them the manufacturing makeover they need. Stephen Bartlett now wants to find out if the dog gate could be a portal to prosperity. What are you forecast for the business? What are you forecasting this year? This year we're forecasting uh, a £200,000 turnover. Yep. With 20,000 net profit. And what are we thinking about next year? We're predicting 375 with a net of 40,000. And then what happens in year three? We're looking to double year on year. So we have 750,000 with an 80,000 net. Um, and then can you tell me what happened with TikTok? The first video that went up and it was like a million views. And it's like, oh, okay. What was the video of? Um, the front door version. Talk me through this video, just want to see it in my head. Uh, what it is, is the Beagle, that's why I brought the Beagle with me. Um, the one that's been most popular is 14.3 million, and it's been a case of me peeling off the adhesive, sticking it to the door and frame, slotting the gate into its brackets, opening the door, and the gate concertina is open, eliminating any risk, and that is the most popular one. And the Beagle pokes its head round and has and a little And it has look. a little claw at the gate and... Isn't social media just so powerful? It's yes. crazy. How many followers have you got on TikTok? 44,000 now. The news that they're rocking on TikTok has grabbed the attention of Stephen Bartlett. But Peter Jones wants to know if a similar product could do just as good a job. What would be the reason why I would use this over the child safety products that are out there today in terms of doors, particularly the stair gate? It was born out of the fact that a lot of people said, I'd like something across my stairs other than a baby gate. They have the trip bar that a lot of people don't like. They're usually pressure fed, which as you knock them and they all ping off. So there's a lot of why people don't like a baby gate. The only thing I would find is start putting nails in, in my walls and my doors. Well, and I, I would find that quite yeah. sort of intrusive. Yeah. We, we have, a, for the front doors, lots of UK front doors are composite or UPVC. So we deliberately have gone for a 3M tape on the back of the mounting bracket, right. so there is no need for screws. Right, so they will stick. Cleaned UPVC, yeah. they stick really well. Yeah. I'm glad you said that, because when I put the adhesive on this yeah. box, I, I thought, it's a bit easy to take off, isn't it? Mm. Absolutely. You're sticking it to the wrong surface area. What if my doors would at home? We, we would advise getting a screw fixing in. So on certain surfaces, you do need screws? Yeah. Yes. And that's clear on all the instructions that it's a UPVC service. OK. When I look at the, the product, um, I don't know whether it's because my little Pablo is so well behaved, <laughs> but I, I wouldn't buy one. When I open my door, Pablo sits there. He's only like this big, though, so he's not really going to mm -hmm. do much damage. So the, my excitement levels aren't tremendous for this. And your margin's not great, so that's going to make it incredibly difficult as well. So. For me, this isn't an investment that I think I can make um, a significant return on. So I'm going to say I'm out. Despite being taken with the entrepreneur's TikTok talents, Stephen Bartlett stops the clock on his involvement. And Peter Jones is also ready to state whether he rates their gate. Peter, Chris, um, I really like the product. And as a dog owner, I'd probably buy the product. However, as a business of the size that I want to be part of, I'm not, I'm not there with it. I just can't see me making a sizable enough return. So for that reason, I'm going to say that I'm out. But well done. Thank you. Look, I think the pair of you are great. However, in this case, you'll face the hurdle of your margin. Yep. And you're probably going to need more money. Potentially. I don't think 50 grand's enough. No, for potentially. This you know? So, fortunately, I'm not going to invest in this. Okay. I'll leave that to my fellow dragons and I'm out. Tuka Suleiman decides to keep hold of his cash, and five dragons are now two. Is Sarah Davies sold on the canine confining concept? I've been sat here thinking, I don't even own a dog. It's probably not for me, this. But then the more you talk, the more I think, you're really solving a problem, you've got a unique product, 
And you know where I'm going to say this would be brilliant to sell, don't you? I think it's a highly demonstrable product. And if you're doing that well with it on TikTok, on TV shopping, I just think it's a fantastic product. So I will offer you all of the money, 50,000, for 25% of the business, but I would reduce my stake to 20% if I got my money back in 24 months. Thank you. Wow. The demonstrable dog gate has caught the imagination of TV shopping queen Sarah Davies, and she makes a move. Will Deborah Meaden take on the investor to her right or close the door on a deal? Guys, I, I, I love it. I think it's brilliant. Thank you. And I really like you as well, you know. So it's, sometimes I sit here and think, can't find a reason not to make an offer, <laughs> which is a good thing. Um, so I'm going to make you an offer. And I, I'm going to offer you all of the money, and I want 20% 20, 20 of the business. Thank, Thank you, you very much. It's a good offer. It is a, good it is a offer. lovely offer. Mm. But you need a moment with the wall. Two dragons are now duelling for the dog barrier business. I just want to the pair of them. Sarah Davies has dangled the prospect of TV shopping exposure, but asked for 25% of the equity, reducing to 20 if her money's repaid. Whilst Deborah Meaden wants a straight 20% cut. Would Sarah be interested? Imagine Deborah's offer. But there's only 10% on the table. And Peter and Chris aren't done. Full disclosure, we would love to work with the pair of you. Would you consider 25,000 each for 12.5% each? I'd love to work with Sarah, but I, I'm looking for, OK, what, what, what haven't I got mm -hmm. that you want? We know that you are better, you know, you are very well placed within the pet sector. That's one big difference between... I don't think that really answers it. Sorry. It's like kind of what do, what do, what do each of us bring? It's, and I'll, it's... I'll be really honest, guys, sometimes having two of us does overcomplicate it. OK, yeah. OK, OK, and, OK, and, and that's fine. From, Well, then from we my... have to ask, yeah, but for... if the offers still stand, then we would love to accept yours, Deborah. Oh! Because <laughs> you were looking at Sarah. I was expecting you to say, if the offer still stands, Sarah, I'd like to accept yours. I am delighted. <laughs> we are. Well, well, done, well done, guys. <laughs> so, thank you so much for well, your so appreciate it. Keep your eye on the future. Peter and Chris make a beeline for Deborah Meaden and tie up a deal. They depart with the £50,000 they were seeking and with a super happy, if slightly surprised, dragon on board. Well, there's a great reader of broad body language. I got that completely wrong of you. They were looking you, at you and me both got that completely wrong. <laughs> that will no. teach me to be greasy and not be prepared to share. Lesson learned. <laughs> I was concerned that and it was going to go yeah, wrong when, when they sort of indicated that they weren't willing to sort of work together. I did nail it quite quickly. Yeah, you did, yeah. <laughs> I'm thankful that you did.